Hey everyone, how are you guys? I have yet another Etsy shop share. I tell you what, I just have so much I have purchased in the past three months that I um, haven't had a chance to share with you guys. But this is a shop I know you guys will absolutely love. I have shared her before. It's Kristen at Rock Paper Treasures. Hey Kristen. Um, one reason why I share her a lot and any products she has in her shop is because she is my go-to person when I know I am looking for something that is truly vintage and truly authentic vintage when it comes to my crafty projects. Or a lot of times when I make you guys junk journal kits, um, I go to her shop. I'm like, hey, Kristen, I want this and this and this. And the prices are right. Um, so I'm going to show you some things I did purchase. A lot of this I have taken some stuff out because um, I used it in my most recent project. But um, before I get into this, if you are new here, please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I will have all the information of the shop I am sharing today down below. Uh, please check her out. It's a local, you know, one of our Etsy shops, small businesses, everything um, that we do for each other helps out. So um, let me go ahead and dig in. Um, there's some lighting coming in here from outside. It is an absolutely beautiful day today. And so I had the windows open, the birds are singing. So don't be surprised. You'll hear that really loud. Sometimes the camera does that in the backdrop, but all right. So what I have here, oh my gosh, just Oh, thank you, Kristen, is all I can say. So um, she has the vintage fee, uh, seed packs in her shop. She has the very, very old ones um, to, um, I forgot the year. She knows the years by the price of the seeds. Um, but these are perfect for projects, guys. Tags, pockets. Um, I know I used mine as a pocket. Um, so there you go, 15 cents, 10 cents. Um, 15 cents. I imagine this is an older one. So she, I uh, know that, but she has all kinds. She put a bunch of these in here. Oh, look at that. I'm going to have to keep that one. <laughs> I'm telling you what, I bought this definitely for a project um, I was going to be doing, which is an Alice in the Wonderland uh, garden themed. Um, and I'll tell you what, I'm still going to use it. I'm going to have to go buy some more stuff from her because I did take it, um, some stuff from here, but at least I had the idea to show you guys. I told her I wanted seed packs. I wanted the vintage French uh, seed labels, which are awesome. They're great when you glue them and put them on paper. I know I love them. They're just bright, beautiful, bold colors. I'll keep that one. My excuse is it's turned over, <laughs> but I love the colors too. So, um, and matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, um, when you watch um, the the show, I think Sherlock Holmes, isn't it? This is the flower. All right, I'm off. My brain just went somewhere else. So I, I'm keeping that one. <laughs> Viola. Anyway, so there's so many beautiful bows. I know I'll have them in the kit, guys, for you. But I'll tell you what, you're going to want to go to her shop because you can get a bunch of beautiful things. If you want a variety pack put together, I'm more than positive she'll put something together for you. She has the Vintage Viewmaster slides. This one here is the Desert Rose. Let me see the, the lighting and see what we got. I know someone already is going to want this. Um, so yeah, go ahead and check out. She has really cool Vintage Viewmasters, which is really nice about this is you can make this into a pocket. Put that in there and maybe layer it with other things too, you know, putting things in there, different tags and such. But anyway, it's really cool. So again, she makes awesome journals as well. She has vintage wallpaper packs as well. She's got um, a wallpaper, but wrapping paper packs, which they're already in the packs, like they, they're vintage and they have the vintage wrapping and everything. So she has so many from vintage baby, retro child, floral, garden, you name it. She put these in the pack for me. Um, so these would be really cool too. I don't know if there's a glare because of that window. To cut these flowers out, um, if you're not going to use this just for a book page or say the inside of a book, um, those flowers would be really cool cut out. And look at this one. This is a full pack too. I just haven't even opened it up. I don't think it needs to. I think you guys kind of get the idea. Um, and then this. Oh my gosh. I used, I'm sorry, Kristen, but I used so many of these in my other book um, that, look at these cigarette cards, guys. Hollyhocks. The thing about hollyhocks is they they live for so long and then they die and you're like you want them to last a little bit longer for the season 
So I love that because my daughter Holly's name, I'm going to have to keep that one. See you guys. Okay, see the junk journal world done to me. <laughs> Usually I'm a person who doesn't hold on to things, but I find that when I look at things now, look at these beautiful carnations. The size is right and perfect too for layering and all that good stuff. I'm learning the terminology people, so bear with me. Um, then I'm personalizing things by certain things like Holly Hawks, my daughter Holly kind of thing. You know, it totally reminds me of her. But Holly's name has an I at the end, not a Y. All right, I'm rambling. So there you have it. So we got a bunch of those. She has those in the shop. Um, of course, the um, the garden, um, you know, what do you call that? I think it's Better Homes and Garden has those cards. They have it in like recipes, but these ones here are like garden or home plants kind of things. Like I got a good pile of the indoor plants. Um, you can also get them if you're particular in like just the garden theme kind of thing. But they have the type of plant, which marigolds are really cool. They are beautiful. They have like the, sm um, the small marigolds or they have the large marigolds. I usually get the large marigolds because not only do they feel like a repellent for rabbits and stuff, but they stay this beautiful, bold color all like spring, summer, and even into fall. And they just keep blooming and blooming and blooming in that beautiful orange. But, okay. So a bunch of those she has in her shop. She did have a little goodie bag for me too, which I did take up out of. <laughs> Sorry, Kristen. <laughs> uh, those bags, she always wraps in beautiful bags and packages. Oh, yes. So she does have first day issue and airmail uh, letters um, in her shop as well. And this is one of two cards. Uh, I did one of the cards are in that journal I made just recently, guys. I'm telling you, I love Kristen's shop. I love her products. And you guys know me. I love vintage. So please check her out. Um, and then she has another one. Look at that. I'm going to have to keep that one. <laughs> I'm doing the Anna Green Gables journal next. And I have all these ideas. I'm looking for if anyone's out there going to has it. You know, I mean, I'm, well, I can't because it's a stash buster. Um, project so it's got to be something in my stash all right cross that out but I'm looking for imagine I can find it in the garden nature books that I have but a cherry tree like cherry tree blossoms because Anna Green Gables talks about how when she her very first friend when she comes to um Green Gables is um the cherry tree so yeah I need to look for a cherry tree picture okay done rambling please check out Kristen and Rock Paper Treasures I absolutely love her as a person and um her shop and do so down below is a direct link thank you guys for watching and listening to me ramble and uh confiscate some of these items um before you guys get some of these and some of the kits but i'm i'm going to go back and shop just after i get off of here because i am low on stock here because i stole from it um and uh for the and uh, not anna green gables but the alice in the wonderland pack all right guys you have a good day bye